Hey, what's up? It's Jeptian Mutai. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share tips and expert advice on freelance tech and business. This video is made specifically to people who have Epson PX660 and are experiencing problem with paper jam. There are many reasons why your printer is showing that there is a paper jam inside, yet when you look inside the printer, there is no paper that has jammed. In this video, I'm going to share with you the potential risk of not solving this problem as soon as you can on your printer. Stay tuned. Hi, 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 hi. This is Freelance and Business. So as you can see, this is my Epson PX660 printer. It recently had a problem with paper jam. And I, after, after I called a technician to come and see, I realized that the problem had caused other problems that later costed me a lot of money. So I'm going to show you some of the things. So actually, when I opened the printer up here, as you can see, there was no paper jam inside here as usually it is when it's showing that uh, that era of paper jam so before i called the technician i just looked at inside here there was a lot of ink that I, like poured down inside the printer so when i called the technician he came and opened the printer and he told me that the issue was caused by the ink that was overflowing here so usually epson px660 half waste ink that is released and from the factory when it's made those ink has a tank that is inside which has to be emptied regularly and it's usually here so that tank was full and it was actually pouring all the ink that was uh, extra to the rest of the printer and it was making the printer a uh, sense that there was a paper jam yet there was no paper jam so there was a lot of waste ink inside there it had affected the whole printer and it had to be cleaned so when the technician came and tried to power the printer the, the, there's a power connection behind the printer it shot that power supply and i had to change to buy a new one get that replaced after being after the old printer was cleaned so what the technician did was to remove the the ink ink container that was inside here and he told me that it's no longer useful and modified this section of the printer and uh, made a hole uh, at the back there as you can see where the pipe that was releasing the waste ink as now this one uh, I just used a bottle of water so that it can be the tank that where the ink will be emptied too so as you can see that is the new uh, waste ink uh, bottle that where the ink will be released to the waste ink will be released to my at the end of that after cleaning all the printer the ink that was being released from the printer it actually it affected them the printer motherboard this is the printer motherboard so let me talk first about the power supply so this is the power supply where you plug in the power here so this is the power supply that was as a result of the ink entering inside here it had to be replaced because it's it short so I had to replace this and it costed me 2,000 shillings. And uh, the second thing that was affected by the ink overflowing inside the waste ink overflowing inside the printer was the motherboard. This is the printer motherboard. And the technician told me that I had to replace this. This is a very important thing key feature in this motherboard so the communication of the printer scanner and uh, and photocopier has to work for the printer to not to show errors so i had to replace this again this motherboard for the printer 
costs 5,000 shillings. So out of all this process, this whole process costed me uh, 9,000 shillings for the labor and replacement and cleaning of the printer. So make sure that you work on the ink waste. That is the reason why all my printer was destroyed. The motherboard was destroyed, which costed me money. The power supply, the out of that problem of waste ink going to the wrong direction so inside the printer, I had this one shot and the motherboard shot. And as a result of that, my old printer hired to replace all this. If you have a new printer, PX660, ensure that you have your waste ink outside the printer, like the inks here. Let me show you. These are the ink for the printer as it comes any other PX660, but make sure you have your waste ink going outside there. That way, the ink, the waste ink, will not sp not like get bored inside the printer resulting in the motherboard or any other place of the printer getting damaged by the ink and that is it on how to resolve the problem of your epson px660 printer i hope you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this youtube channel also visit my website on cheption.com to learn more until next time Bye bye and take care. My name is Jeb Joy Mutai. Looking for professional screencast video production services? Request a free quote on www.techjobstudio.com.